I didn't go to the wharf until I was in my 30s or something. I'd never been there because I come from West Australia. And I just remember this. It's like you're crossing a bridge into another world. You have to go on a journey. I remember the first time I heard about the wharf, I felt very skeptical because they were talking about this pier that was going to become a theatre. And Richard invited some of us to go down months later to see this wharf as it was being transformed. And I just couldn't believe it. My heart just expanded. I just remember thinking, I have to work here. I have to do whatever I can to be part of this. It was like nothing else I'd ever seen. The history of the place, the possibilities, and I just thought Richard Warrett's vision for it was out of this world. I think my favourite memories of the wharf sitting out on those decks outside the bar, learning lines, uh, looking at the Harbour Bridge, it's, it's an incredible privilege to be able to work in theatre and to sit out with a coffee and a script with a view like that. I did Rosencrantz and Guildenstern because I just wanted to be in the same room as Tim Minchin. And then I wasn't called that often to rehearsal because I only had one line. I used to go to anyway just so I could watch. And it was fantastic. It was a pretty great room. I remember one particular day and there was a piano and it wasn't part of the show. And one lunchtime, first time you sat down and started playing and we were all trying to be really cool, but we were all going, oh my God, Tim's playing the piano. And I just remember thinking when you have actors coming into the rehearsal room, you bring in more than what the play's about and you bring in your whole life and you bring in all your skills and all your talents. It is one of the best things about working at the STC is that when you're rehearsing on the wharf, you're completely surrounded by art and artists. Sometimes you're learning your lines, you walk past an actor who's rehearsing in the corridor. Crying. You're crying, <laughs> breaking up, um, getting notes, uh, working with the voice. So, you know, you're, it's sort of in the public space, you're working just as much as in the rehearsal room. And it's really, really fun to go there. It doesn't have any sense of sort of being staid or posh. It feels Australian and it feels joyous, and yet it's proper world-class theatre. Whenever I do a production at the Wharf, I always try to find a place through the curtain, if there is a curtain, or through the set. I just love to see the audience coming in and I love to imagine who they are, the thought of going out and sharing the story or sharing whatever it is with these people, knowing that each person will receive it very differently and knowing that each person's experience will be unique. My hopes for The Wharf is that it's changed enough so that it's uh, supercharged and that the spaces are more functional and more able to be used in different ways to make fantastic theatre, but also that it hasn't changed too much because one of the fantastic things about The Wharf is that it carries its history and the porousness of its wood, you know, that's why I love theatres. It's like you can smell every story that's ever been told there. It matters so much at the moment, the stories we're telling each other, the way we're communicating our stories. And as you say, SDC is built on Gadigal land and you know that stories have been told here for millennia. It matters a huge amount how we see ourselves in, in art. And so I think that's our job. Our, our job is to put good ideas out into the world and to tell stories that allow us as a community to be the best versions of ourselves.